vehicles in Canada. Morning guys, today we're going to take a trip over to visit my good friend and uh, if we're lucky we might try checking out a new kind of transportation. But first we have to get over there, so let's get going. In Canada we have lots of different ways to go places. We call this transportation. Each kind of transportation is a vehicle, like cars, boats, and airplanes. Around my house, the roads are very busy. So, lots of people take buses. That's what I'll ride today. In Canada, we get on buses at the front. We can say hi to the driver. We use a special card to pay the driver, called a compass card. We can use it for all kinds of transportation. We need to get all the way to a place called Science World to meet my friend today. It's going to take a lot of different vehicles. All done. We're deep in. That's right. Next, we have to cross the water. We'll get on a special kind of boat called the sea bus. Can you think why it's called that? Is that my boat? Oh man, I gotta go. The sea bus uses the same car as the bus. Actually, it's almost the same as riding a bus, but we get a nice view out on the water. Now that we are on the other side of the water, we need to take one more vehicle. This one is called the Sky Train.
next we're gonna ride on the Sky Train. Yeah, it's called Sky Train, but it still drives on the ground. You'll see. It's kind of like a normal train. It's almost the same as trains in Japan, but a little bit different. Actually, there's no driver for this train. Everything is automatic. Isn't that cool? This is an Expo Line train to Production Way University. All right, we're in. <whistles> the the skytrain tracks right behind me here that's why it's called a skytrain i guess because it goes a little bit off the ground that's the same as it is in japan sometimes even higher uh, but skytrain sounds cool so i guess they put that in see you skytrain a bicycle. You can tell mommy and daddy don't want me to get close. Look. He's honking at me. Alright, alright, I'll back off. See ya. Hey, there she is now. Hey, Roxy. Hi, good morning. Hi. I finally found you. <laughs> what are you looking at here? Looking at all the boats on the water. Oh, wow. In Falls Creek. We finally made it. So, what is the new vehicle we're going to try riding today? I'll give you a hint. It's like the sea bus, but a whole lot smaller. It's the Aqua Bus. Aqua means water, so it's another kind of bus that floats on the water. Do you know the word aquarium? There's a lot of water there too. Uh, we're gonna get on the aqua bus soon. Uh, now the aqua bus and the sea bus, uh, they're both boats, but they're a special kind of boat called a ferry, and that's spelled F. E-R-R-Y. I'm going to do that again because it's going to be reversed. F-E-R-R-Y. And what that means is that they are boats just for taking people from one place to another. Uh, I'm gonna be getting off at Hornby, I guess. At yeah, Hornby? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we can do that. Okay, All right? Yeah. Cool, yeah. let's go. There are lots of other vehicles in Canada that we didn't ride today, like 
the seaplane. It's a kind of plane that can float on water and also fly. Do you have a favorite kind of transportation? Let me know and stay safe.